There it is for you, When the Word Was Sound with Neptune's Chronometer. Pretty cool, huh? It was really cool. I, I didn't think I quite understood like their name. Right. Now you get it. Yeah. When the Word Was Sound. So creative. And then around sound, if you're looking at when they type it out, they put all the, uh, the little brackets or parentheses around it to give it that sound effect. And they do. And I love it. It's so cool. Shout out to Brandon Pittman and Amanda Sanye, uh, who make up that awesome group. And I love it. It's so cool. Yeah, right. Their stuff's very different. I really like that. Check them out on Facebook, When the Word Was Sound, along with all of our other awesome bands that we play here on the show. All of them are on Facebook. The majority of them are on Twitter. Uh, even more of them are on Bandcamp and uh, Reverb Nation. So make sure you go and find their music if you want to support them. We appreciate that. And uh, we appreciate them for giving us the gift of music for us to air on the show. Yeah. I mean, I really like stuff like this because, I mean, all the bands we play, I mean, obviously there's lyrics behind it. And I really ap- appreciate uh-huh. lyrics. I always read them before I listen to songs. But I also really appreciate really good sound. Right. I like it. It's there different. you go. Shout out to When the Word Was Sound right here on LA on Air. Uh, we have more music coming away in this show. Uh, Dakota Harp, we played his song the other night, but uh, or the other day. We're going to bring it to you again for you. Lana, you okay? Mm-hmm. Lana's getting a little jolt of energy all of a sudden. It's coming out of nowhere, and she's like, ah. <laughs> I'm doing my shake weights. Okay. <laughs> she went there. Uh, that's what she got for Christmas. All right. <laughs> here, I don't, I don't want to know. Anyway. Does it, does it make up for having a friend? No. Okay. <laughs> here it is for you. Some more music right here on LA on Air. Bringing it over to Paul Gonsolin with The Bird. Oh! Right here on LA on Air. My life would be easier if I could settle on down. Stop chasing after a crown If I could settle on down My mind would be gentler If I could lay where I lie Without dreaming of a time When I can lay where I lie There's a bird in my rib cage that won't let me be. There's a bird in my rib cage, and he's got places to be. My day would run smoother if I could fall in line. Just live out my time With what the Lord provides My night would be friendly If I could close my mouth And hold back all of my doubt About the world around There's a bird in my rib cage It won't let me be There's a bird in my rib cage And he's got places to be This song would be sweeter if it wasn't written at all If I had answered the call to leave out once and for all But my day is a little brighter now that I'm singing it for you My bird is fluttering for you Later he'll go back to his room 
There's a bird in my rib cage that won't let me be. There's a bird in my rib cage fighting like hell to get free. There's a bird in my rib cage that won't let me be. There's a bird in my rib cage and he's got places to be.
That was Paul Gonsolin with The Bird, followed by new music by Dakota Harp with In My Heart right here on LA on Air. Lana, you good? Mm hmm. You're doing the robot over there. So, I know, Lana's that song was banging. Having a great time. As soon as she leaves me, she gets to go and have fun with friends. Sorry. Uh huh. I never get to have fun with friends. Oh, really? Really? Whatever. <laughs> uh huh. She knows I'm, I'm right. <laughs> anyway. Lies. They're all lies. Uh, here's a past clip that we did with Jen Cober, and hopefully you check out the show tonight. It's going to be pretty awesome if you didn't see it last night. Here it is, Jen Cober, right here on LA on Air. Here now at Luna Live during uh, their closed hours, getting to see behind the scenes. Here with uh, what I like to call the funny lady from Lake Charles, Jen Cober. How you doing? I am so good. So excited to be here with you, Mr. Bray J. <laughs> so tell us, you have come back now, and of course you did your summer-long series, and you kind of brought that back to Lauberge. What was that like for you? Two nights, the, the big room, as we like to call it. It was crazy. That event center was so big. It was so intimidating. But you know what? Like they always do, the people of Lake Charles come through for me. Everyone was there. I couldn't believe how many people were there that I didn't even know were coming, you know? Uh-huh. It was so amazing to me. I think the, the God bless a billboard in this town, you know what I mean? So, yes. so many people knew and they were out there to support it, and we had such a great time. Uh, Tuesday show and Wednesday shows were both just amazing. So, And I heard that you got some, uh, some special privileges. They actually filmed the second show, is that right? We did. We filmed the second show. I'm trying to get a Letterman set, and okay. so we are filming all that I'm doing so that I can like study it and go mm-hmm. back and tweak it and study it and go back because it's got to be clean right so it's harder for me to you know work those kind of things out you'll get there yeah you I, know will. It. I will and of course we are hearing a lovely voice in the background can you yeah. tell us 